welcome to The Amazing Race, Miss EOJ Style. I'm your host, Trisha Durrani, and let's take a look at our contestants. What's your name? Justin. Tell us one thing about yourself, Justin. I like koala bears. Okay, let's move on. And your name? Nick. Tell us one thing about yourself, Nick. I like to dance. <laughs> That's interesting. And the last contestant? Zach. What's one thing you like to do, Zach? I like teddy bears, lavender, and nicely fitted sweaters. Okay, so our three contestants over here will have to complete three riddles that will lead them to unknown locations. From these locations, they will have to complete a challenge that will reveal mystery events that are happening here at Missio Day. Okay, contestants, are you ready for your first race? You guys have... Ten seconds to read this. Take a trip around the world. Achy and the green grass grows all around, all around. Achy back, take a ride. One, two, three, go! Wow. Oh. Assortment of words and letters. Hmm. Yo, stud. Is that right? Youth Bible study. And we have a winner. January 29th. Yeah. I don't even have youth doesn't have a date just yet. Don't lie. Neither did mine. Youth. We just completed our first challenge, and winner, Nick Beza! Yes! And in second place, Justin. And in third place, Zach. Hello. But that's okay, because we're moving on to our second challenge. On your mark, get set, no, no, I, I'm going to cheat. Well, we're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. I quit. <laughs> A ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh. three, two, one. Sorry. And Nick wins no, again. <laughs> Since Nick was the first one to win, he gets his next clue first. Then Justin, then Zach. Go, go, go. It just has a number. Yes. What does that mean? Go. Gotta wait a little. Where's the number? Okay, time for Justin to go. How's it going, Nick? Good. I understand this. How about you, Zach? What are we supposed to do? Oh, I got it. Bunker Keating, buddy! Woo! That's not it! Yes. That's not it! That's not it! I got it! I got it! You are wrong! <laughs> Buster no skating game. party February 2nd. And we have a winner! What? I said that! I said that too! You said skating party. Oh. I actually said it first. And, and he you guys did like, not cheat. I hate this game. So we are on our last challenge, and this is for all the marbles. Nick has won three rounds, but this is for the whole title. He won two rounds. Okay, the contestants have three cards. First, second, and third. They have to complete them all, and when they complete them all, they go to the cafe, use their clues that they gathered, and win the race. Are you ready? Yes. Mark, get set, Wait. go. The age, the age of a female singer who is currently married, pregnant. She has five. Oh, I know who this is. Where do we write it? Where do we write it? Where do we write it? I don't know how old she is. I know how old she is. Done. Oh, it's shameful that I know that. I am sad. Like, that is not the answer to my question. It is when you put in a calculator. Calculator's not right. The last quick winner comes back for the victory. The true underdog of this competition. <laughs> the slayer of the killer of kings. Now we have a winner. The killer of kings. The slayer of all that is evil. The mighty one reigns victorious I'm once so again. What do I win? A bag of marbles? Yes. yes. A yes. bag of knowledge marbles. Yes. Really, is there no prize? I'm keeping this cup. This is your prize. 
I'm keeping the cup, by the way. Whoever Can you say it the to the camera? Right, I'm keeping the cup. Practical Ministry, February 23rd. We'll see you all there. So, Miss you day. In the end, we discovered that there's a youth Bible study happening January 29th in the Fireside Room. Don't forget your 10 bucks. We've also discovered that there's a skating party at the Buster's house, February 2nd. Don't forget your skates. And the last announcement, there's Practical Ministry, February 23rd. Make sure you sign up for that. Thanks for watching. Hey, are you guys going to the PD Day event on Friday? Obviously. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be dope. Shut Can up, Trisha. Awesome. Who brought Trisha into this conversation? Nobody likes you, Trisha. Never come to Miss Yodeo again. Yeah, okay, we can't have that in there. Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. It's Everybody true. knows. Okay. It's not a secret. It's like the elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't there for that. No. <laughs> elephant in the room! Se seriously. Yeah. It's 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Make sure you bring a waiver. <laughs> but seriously, though, I hate Trisha. Okay, this has gone way off. Isn't that just an implied thing with every Miss Yodi event? I guess it's true. You guys are gay. <laughs> <laughs> not as gay as you. <laughs>